I'm gonna ask is, I feel like we're seeing that since so many of the bigger outlets are more, for lack of better terms, let's say like major controls, and a lot of artists aren't getting the opportunities to do interviews with these media outlets, I personally feel like we're starting to see like less and less media trained artists who really know how to like take full advantage of it of an interview. Are you are you seeing that on your end? One hundred percent. Yeah, I can easily tell which artists have been media trained and then which person just like doesn't even want to be there. So I would say like the more they respect you, the better the interview will be, you know? If they don't know you at all, um, there's just a like, bigger chance that they're just gonna like slouch and, you know, not really explain a story fully. Um, you just gotta like make them respect you, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, and I get that, like getting them to respect the art, respect the content, want to be on the platform, that type of stuff. So let's keep that same thought in mind then. So let's say I'm an artist and I haven't done a lot of interviews. I'm looking at a platform like yours. I say, you reach out to me, you want to do the interview. What are some of the things that just off of what you've noticed help to make an artist interview stand out or resonate, whether that be from the standpoint of just being a good piece of content or just to the point of even being something that like their fans look at it like, oh shit, this was a really dope interview for you. I think every artist, big or small, should look at an interview the same way as the ones they watch, you know, like, would they watch this video if it was coming out? You know, like, let's say I did an interview with a, with a small artist, that small artist should do the interview as if, you know, it's on the breakfast club or something, you know, just explain things with stories, because that's what people actually relate to. If you just give like, two sentence answers and like, you know, things that are just super boring and not different from everyone else. Like no one's going to watch your interview and no one's going to connect to it. So like fans, you know, like you will gain fans when people actually connect to your stories, your background. Um, so you got to be able to actually explain that in, those, in your interviews. Okay. Who's been, who's been your, your favorite interview from a, like that standpoint? Like they gave great answers. They, they did, you know, all the, all the right things. They took up all the right boxes in your opinion. And then what were some of those things about the interview that made it just a really good interview? Hmm. Um, Damn, there's a lot, but I would say, I would say uh, Toby Lou because, you know, he was kind of talking to me as if I was his friend. He wasn't being disrespectful at all. But the best thing is like, you know, if I would say any topic, he would just like bring up a story from, from back then. Like we talked about Juice World, and then he's like, oh yeah, you know, I went to school with Juice World, um, and all this stuff. So it's like, you know, you can use those little little clips and like people will actually like watch it online. Like people think that stuff is interesting. So Toby Lou for sure. Um, who else? Let me think. Mm, man, I've done so many interviews that they're, I'm just drawing a blank. But uh, <laughs> let me see. Yeah, I, I'd say I'd say Toby Lou was, was the best. That's, a, that's okay. a great point you brought up, bro. Very great point we bring up a lot is the having the story, like st artists needing to have a reason for you to even want to talk to them, right? Because um, we'll be, we'll get clients and things who want to do press and we'll be like, okay, before we start reaching out to a publisher or something like, what's your story? Because if the story is X artist drops new song, that's not interesting to you, right? Like, that's, that's, the, that's the worst story in the, in, in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but if yeah. it's like X artist, you know, wrote this story while blindfolded in a closet, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, oh shit, now you have something to talk about. Now you have something that your viewers will actually want to watch about, right? Facts, that's a good story right there. Yeah, 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 okay. Are there any, has there been any particular gem that you picked up from these artists that you interviewed that just like stuck out of you? Or something that like, yo, such and such said this, like every artist needs to know this shit. Damn, that's so broad. Like, uh, there's probably so many things. I'm kind of drawing a blank, but, uh, uh da, 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 let me think man off the top of my head i probably can't remember this because there's yeah, just right. dude, so <laughs> many like gems yeah yeah nah, i get it. uh going back to i think I've, all the interviews i've seen that toby lou interview is probably the one where it felt like yo toby really doesn't care but he's dropping out of the game right now but like oh right i do remember from, from toby lou interview what he was saying was um you know he was just talking about how he he drove uber at the time and like he didn't like you know like you had you got to do what you got to do if it seems like like a demoralizing job or whatever it doesn't matter you got to do what you got to do to you know get your your career going so i think i really respect him until he said the uber thing because uh, a lot of artists are just like sometimes they're scared to you know if they need money they're like oh well, i can't work a job you know it's like no sometimes you got to go work be a fry cook at McDonald's and just make some money, use that to get some recording time, and then boom, like, now you have an opportunity. Yeah, 
Yeah, bro. It's like the money gotta come from somewhere. We know it. We know you have to spend the money. The money gotta come from somewhere. We're not. We're not tripping on it. And that's. The, I think that was the part that got me too. It was like, oh, Toby, which I also actually I think is one of the cooler things of artists coming up today. Where it used to be so secretive about you know, oh, this artist has a job. This is what this artist is doing to grow. To grow. But artists, they are like, nah, bro. This is what I did. I was working, you know, twenty hours a week at McDonald's, at McDonald's stacking my check up, going to do live shows every week, and I did this, and then here I am. I always think that's cool. Like, it seems yeah. like no, artists aren't afraid to, to share the game and let others know what they did to get there. Facts. If I was an, if I was an upcoming artist or if I got a chance to do an interview, I would definitely mention those things because people can relate to that. You know, mm -hmm. people relate yeah. to you working at McDonald's because they probably did it themselves. Yeah, yeah. That's facts, man. That's a good point, man. Um, it's the network.